feel. Everything is Taurus. And it's hard to understand for many people, but um, I want to just show you how to make a Taurus field using audio. And it's very simple. So I've got here Ableton Live, it's Ableton 10. And I've got some other software and hardware uh, running. And the nice thing about Ableton is that you've got loads and loads of free plugins. And what we have here is a tone generator, a tuner, and a spectrum analyzer to see on what frequency you are. But you see it already here. Yep. This one is at 5 to 8 hertz, so it's not that very, very high. Now, the trick is, is to get two oscillators, one on the left channel and one on the right channel. And you can see this is one channel at 5 to 8 hertz and another one at 5 to 8. And you need to pan one oscillator or tone generator to the left and the other to the right. And then you have to mix it in. So I can do that here. So this is generating a resonant frequency. And you are using two the same frequencies, so it stays the same at 5 to 8 hertz, but it's a resonant frequency. And resonance is making up the form. So please understand that. So I've got this old Tektronix oscilloscope. And this is the audio from the left channel. And this is the audio from the right channel. It's zoomed in so you can see the waveform. And the, this line here is the resonant frequency. So I've got 5 to 8 hertz on the left channel, 5 to 8 on the right. And this is the resonant frequency. It's the same. So you can see it right here. But this is a normal old Tektronix uh, analog oscilloscope and you've got this now I've got another Tektronix oscilloscope right here and this one is for audio it's called a vectorscope and with this scope you can see the form it's making so 5 to 8 hertz on the left channel and on the right channel combined on this scope it makes the circle now I've made it into a circle because if you change the phase of one of one particular channel, this is the left channel, you see, if you change something, the form changes. Changes. You know? So let's make that into a circle. Now, let's make the right and the left channel e with the same volume, like this. You've got a perfect circle. Now, that's 5, 2, 8. Now, I get two other tone generators. Also one on the left and one on the right. And we take 144 hertz. And if I mix those two in, and you change the phase, you get a perfect circle also. Yeah? And it's a lower frequency, so you can see on the analog scope that it's lower. Yeah, and you can hear it also, it's lower. Now, let's go back to the 5 to 8 hertz, the slightly higher frequency. So it's making up this perfect circle, yeah? Now, let's mix in the 144 resonant frequency and see what happens. down and there you have it this is what many uh, refers to as uh, the seed of life the flower of life well I think you know but in fact what you are looking at is the top view of a Taurus field it's seen from the top it's that now this is the form the resonant frequency is making 
by mixing two frequencies on four channels. So on the an analog scope, it's this channel right now is 144 and 528. This is the same, and those two are making this resonant frequency is practically the same. This is all resonance, which you see here, and that's making up this form. Now, if I change the face of one of the channels, you will see that the form will change. Let's do that right now. And if you can, I will just change it a little bit. And if I do it like this, you'll see it's a torus, but it's on a very low frequency. So, let's change the phase back to its original. You get the seed of life, loop of life, whatever. Whoppa. So, now I'm gonna multiply the 528 by 10 times. It's the left, the left channel, it's very high now. You can see it's changing already. Now, the right channel, Bum. Ah, it's hurting my ears. And you got this. And this is a torus field. Now I can make it better by changing the phase of one of the channels again. Let's do that right now. Oh, look. If I change the volume, I can change the form as well. What's this? It's a perfect torus. So that's making up the torus. Now if I, ch if I change the phase, let's flip it. By changing the overall phase of the channel, mixing in some volume. It's a torus. It's a freaking torus. Now let's change the phase again to make it even like the Taurus of the guy on YouTube. Let's change the face a little bit more. And there you have the Taurus. So this is a Taurus. And we're only using two resonant frequencies to make up this form. Now, it's audio, so you can do a million trillion things with audio. Can You can modulate it. And if you modulate it, the form will change and I will show you right now let's put the model later on and you see it's changed already but it's still the same torus it's only modulated now let's modulate it even further now watch what happens You see it's changing, the slightest change in modulation will change the overall motion of the torus. So let's do some more. See, it's like a star. I can even uh, make a. How do, you, how do you say it? Wow, look at this. Whoa, whoa. It's 
So it's modelated. So it doesn't look like a Taurus, but in essence, it is a Taurus. All is Taurus, but it's modelated. So it looks different, but in essence, it is a Taurus. It's really that simple. Now, now I'm using uh, two frequencies and I've got a little uh, two old uh, frequency generators from Tektronix. They're very old, uh, analog. And let's see what, on what frequency they are right now. Left is at 25.4 and the right channel is at 25.4. Now, look what happens if I mix in this frequency just a little bit, just a little bit volume. And it's bouncing, bomb, bomb. So it doesn't look like a Taurus, but it is. It's a modulated Taurus. And now we are using three resonant frequencies mixed together. Like this, you get this form. Now I can modulate this also, and the form changes directly. And do the same trick as I did a few seconds ago. Now this doesn't look like a Taurus, but it is a Taurus. And that I want, uh, wanted to point out to uh, all people that are working with Tauruses because everything is Taurus. I think the Taurus is the answer to free energy. Um, it has to be. Everything is Taurus and it's uh, quite amazing. So, that's it. I'm out. Bye-bye.